Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the fourth day's fourth training of, uh, sorry, I think it should be the fifth day's training of SuperMapJS Contest Development Group. This is Jason speaking. So I think, uh, let me share my screen first. We can start our training today. Okay. So uh, before that, uh, before start our training, let's take a look at uh, our training schedule here and see what is our task for today. Uh, yesterday we already achieved the function of modify the attributes of building and modify the geometry of building. And today we are going to create the function of create a new building and uh, delete an existing building. Sorry, there should. Be, this should be end, right? All right. And uh, uh, based on the content of yesterday, we can take a look at it. Based on the content of yesterday, let me open the uh, edit.js. And uh, yesterday, we mainly achieved the function of uh, edit the attributes and geometry of the building. And we used the class of supermap, which is ol.supermap.feature service. And we use the edit feature service. And the edit feature parameters is uh, there are some, some, uh, some members of each, like the features, the data source name, data site name, edit type, and return content. So Today, uh, but we need to notice that the edit type we use the update. So today, uh, and besides of update, I, I think yesterday I already mentioned it to all of you that uh, the edit type can not only be the update, but also we can use this edit feature parameter to add a new feature or to delete an existing feature. So. So uh, actually today we don't have any new content just based on the added feature parameter to change the added type from update to add or delete to achieve our requirement today. And, uh, and uh, by uh, adding a new building, so we need to first, of course, we need to draw a build, right? And then we need to set the attributes of it. And we can base, uh, we just need to create one feature and then put it as a parameter instead of the added feature parameters. So what we are going to do today is first, well, if we want to add a new building, we need to draw a new polygon, right? And then we need to set the attributes in order to allow the user to set the attributes by themselves, we need a we need a panel to let them to input the attributes they want, the input the attributes they need. So, <clears throat> first, before we start, we need before we start to achieve the the JS code, we need to put the div, put the HTML in our content. And uh, we can see this is uh, we can see this is our uh, interface. Uh, this is the interface of our application. And uh, uh, there are two tabs. The first tab we already use it for the land use, and uh, we based on the type to query the land use. And for the second one, as default, there is one button and a table. But uh, uh, I think the tab two is very suitable to put the panel of adding a new building or delete an existing building. All right, let's achieve it by the HTML code first. Okay, and uh, uh, before that, we, uh, yeah, and we can see this is the HTML code and uh, this DIV is for the sidebar, right? This is for the sidebar. And uh, inside of the sidebar, we can see uh, the earlier, yeah, this is the tab two, and uh, this is the tab one, uh, and we already gave it the title of land use type. So for the tab two, we can modify the name as 
suggest as building because uh, instead of this type, all, all of our operation are related to the building. Okay, now it's already been related, it's been modified to building. And inside of the building, we need to create the, uh, we need to create our content. First, we don't need to use this DIV anymore. So we can just delete it. And then inside of the panel body, yeah, we can see now there's only one button. Inside of this panel body, we need to put some uh, text input. For example, it will be similar. It will be similar with the text with the attributes here, right? It it will be similar. So we need to put some attributes here. Uh, we need to put some uh, input input text uh, input text here, and to uh, uh, please allow me to copy it directly and to replace the button the the earlier button. And now we can see first. We use the DIV and it is the form group. And uh, we have a label and uh, input text. And the label is OSMID. And then the code and then an uh, input. Uh, and F class and input. And name input. And of course, the type input. All right. So let's take a look at uh, the building information now. So. Now we can see the OSM ID, the code, F class, name, and type. But uh, I set to default value for the code and uh, for the uh, F class because all of, uh, all of our building, the F class as a building. So it depends on the uh, attribute name of OSM data. And uh, of course, if you have uh, yeah, F class, they are all building. If you have some other uh, attributes, you can uh, easily create, you can do it by yourself. And, uh, and there are two buttons. The first one is add, the second one is delete. So I want to achieve the function of when I click the add, when I click the add button, I can draw a polygon. And then after we got the geometry of the polygon, we draw it. And uh, we can we want to get the attributes from this table from this input text. After that, we can uh, and and then we can submit this new building to the server. And uh, the delete one is when we delete it, we want to select one building and then delete it. So it's not hard to be achieved because we already. Uh, we already achieved our, uh, achieved the similar function before. We just need to combine them in a different way. For example, for edge, we need to, to draw the polygon which is similar with with measurement, right? And uh, after we get the geometry, we want to we want to have uh, we want to uh, also get the attributes and use the added feature parameter to construct it as a feature then up 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 uh, then upload to the uh, server and for the delete it's the same when we click delete it will be similar with we select the building and query the information so when we delete the building when we click delete we need to draw a point and to, and then use the spatial uh, query function spatial query to get this building and to use the edit a uh, parameter added feature parameter to delete the existing building. So let's see how to achieve it. We can also refer. We can also refer to the uh, step code, and uh, this is for add the div of adding and deleting building. Right. This this are the div, and uh, yeah, we are we already achieved this step, <clears throat> and. Uh, Next is we need to achieve the function of adding building. Okay, let's go back to the code. And we can say for the button, for the draw, uh, for the add building button, we give it a function, give it a function of draw building. And for delete button, we give it the function of delete building. So we can, we need to achieve the draw building function from uh, 
from uh, yeah, let me copy the code from the earlier uh, from the earlier version. <clears throat> All right, so uh, this is the this is the draw building. And uh, uh, earlier I put it in the set tape two dot js, but uh, uh, I think we can just achieve it in the edit dot js because they are all about uh, the editing, okay? And uh, here we can uh, paste it here. And let me explain to you about them. So first we need to define a interaction of draw, and the type should be polygon. And uh, for this interaction, we draw it in the source of Draw layer, yeah, that will be the same with earlier layer. We we just uh, we we yeah we just uh, draw it use uh, in the draw layer, and we need to add the interaction to the map of this draw building, okay? And uh, we need to give it an event of draw end. After we draw the building, we first we need to add this building. Uh, we need to get the geometry of this building. So. Uh, so we get the we get the geometry from evt dot feature dot get geometry, and then we need to create a, a new feature which is online dot feature building geometry. Actually, you can just use the evt dot feature; it's the same. And uh, uh, yeah, don't also don't forget to remove the interaction because every time we only need to draw once, and after that. We need to get the value from our code index. So we can based on the jQuery, uh, jQuery function to uh, to get the to use this one to based on the ID to get the value of it. So we can see this is a OSM ID, and uh, uh, here we give it the ID of OSM ID, and uh, the, this ID is code is for code F plus F plus and name, name, and type, type, right? Okay, so we can go back. We get the OSM ID dot value and uh, give it to the building feature dot values dot OSM ID. And building features, the building feature dot values dot code. And F class name type. So until now we can try to console the log H console the log this building feature we construct and uh, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at it so uh, if we don't input anything we click the add directly uh, let me see the draw the draw building and uh, here we can read the draw building it shows the draw building is not defined. Building is not defined. Oh, sorry, I put it in a I put it in a wrong JS file. It should be uh, it should be here. Yeah, it should be it should be this one. Sorry, earlier this J, uh, this added or JS file is from the uh, my previous. Uh, project okay so it's here the draw building and uh, we need to console the log the building feature let's take a look at it add yeah now we can draw a building and then we need we console the log of our building and in the value uh, of our feature and in the values we can get the code is the default value 1500 and the f class is building but for others, they are all empty. For others, they are all empty. So let's try it again. If we give it the number, like this one is one, two, three, the name is like test one. The type we set it as, uh, uh, let me find the type of it. Okay, we set it as industrial, all right? We set it as industrial and we click add, now we can see the values 
we also we already get the code f class name is test one osm id tab and as well as our geometry we joined so based on of, based on this feature we can put it as the parameter of added features parameter which is the building feature and it's the same the data source name the data source name should be cadastral data right and the data site name should be building okay and the added type don't forget to set it as add set it as add and it will be the same with earlier uh, it will be the same with earlier we need to send this parameter as the parameter of added features and uh, in the callback function we set if we got the succeed then we need to alert add building successfully and uh, and then we need to refresh our layer our oh, tail layer and uh, also clear all of the draw that that is clear the building we draw in the draw layer okay let's take a look at it uh, we can find uh, we can find a building which didn't been recorded, and uh, let's say for this one, uh, yeah, it doesn't have name and type about this one. No, okay. Uh, then, then we don't we don't need to put the name and type here. And uh, for the ID, we give it a oh one one two two three three for example, and uh, the code, the building, the name as test to one one the type is uh is empty because uh, because this building around it is also empty okay and we can click add we click add to start the draw and we can base down it to draw a building like this double click to end the draw and uh, after we end the draw we will go to, we will use the uh, added feature service to send the send this request to, to send this request to the server you can see i think it should be <coughs> sorry oh where is the oh it, it seems because of uh uh because of uh, this fresh uh, this map already been fresh yeah i think this one the header okay and we can see instead of uh, instead of this request we already can get all of our we already can get all of uh, all of the information we set we sent and uh, the pre and then it is 201 means uh we successfully get the response from the server okay and then we click OK to add the uh, because this is an alert. After we close this alert, there uh, we will refresh the layer and to clear the draw. Okay, and refresh it. Then we can see that there is already one building added to added to this to here. The building added, and uh, uh, since we already defined the type based on. Uh, we based on the type to create the semantic map. So we can also set the set the type and to control the number of the building. For example, yeah, here is one, and around this building, the type are all uh, terrace terrace house, right? And uh, here we can add a new building. For example, this one. like this one okay and to add building successfully and then we can see the color will be same with its same types color yeah and we can also find another one like this one it is uh, in industrial right it is uh, in it is uh, industrial and uh, we we give it the type of industrial and to uh, create a new building for example, uh, the small one. Okay, and to add building successfully, 
and uh, we can see this building will be the same this building will be the same color with the uh industrial right okay so uh, until now we already achieved uh, the function of at the building and uh, next what we need to do is to achieve the function of uh is to achieve achieve the function of delete the existing building so we can get it from get the code from here yeah we get the code from here and to set it into the added building yeah now we can say for the delayed building actually it's also not hard to be achieved first we need to well, first we define one new interaction of one new interaction of delayed building and it is the draw a point it is for drawing a point and we add this interaction to the map and uh, give it an event of draw end. and inside of it we need to achieve the function which is similar with the query like uh, uh, that is we get the event the feature the values the geometry as a geometry and uh, this is the geometry of query by geometry parameters and the name should be the layer name because for this one it is based on it is based on the uh the map service right so we need to modify the name as the layers name okay like this and then we go we use the query by geometry and uh, we got the we define the callback function and after we get the service result we need to uh, yeah, here we need to uh, only use uh, the IDs because for uh, for delete the building, delete one feature instead of add a feature parameter, we only need to set the SMID, which is IDs. Okay, and and first we get the feature from the the query result, and we can uh, we need to. Uh, add this feature to the vector source to the result layer, and then we we set this uh, we set the value as the oh sorry yeah and and then we need to give it uh, we, we sorry this one is not necessary and to, in order to set the IDs because as default when we query when we get the uh, when we get the result when we get the result of a uh, query one it will be the string the format of the smid will be the string but uh, in order to achieve the added feature parameters the ids should be number so we need to use the face int function to convert the string format of smid to number format and for the data source name, we also need to modify it as our data source name and data set name. Data set name is building and return content. The return content is true. And after that, uh, we use the added feature service. And here, uh, the add, sorry, the added type should be building and the uh, the set that set name should be building and the added type should be delete. And, and then we go to the added feature service and uh, in the callback function we set the alert. If this feedback is succeed, we give it an alert of delete building successfully. And we also need to refresh our layer and to clear the draw. <clears throat> let's take a look at the result so for 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 delete the building it will be the same with choose one um and i don't want to modify the uh, existing data inside of this data so uh, i want to add a new one first add a new building here okay and uh, after after that, yeah, this is a new building. And uh, 
I want to delete this building, how should I do it? We can use this delete, and then we can draw a point, right? After we draw the point, we will query with this building out and send the ID of this building to the server to delete it and click OK. And then we get the feedback of delete building successfully. Then click OK. Now we can see this building already been deleted. And uh, it will be the same if we find if we find another building to be deleted. Uh, I cannot find the building earlier I joined. For example, here this it seems this is a wrong data uh, because all because all the buildings are rounding it doesn't have the record. And uh, let's say this data is a uh, oh sorry, it's a uh, most most uh, let me find you another one how about this one yeah uh, like this one it doesn't have name and the type okay so i if i choose the delete i need to draw a point and click this button delete building successfully so yeah, we can say if we refresh our layer, zoom in, zoom out, then this building will be deleted. So uh, for, for this function, actually for the delete function, we can also achieve it after we select the building, such as we can add a new button inside of the pop-up and when we click delete, then this building, this building will be deleted. And in this way, we don't need to draw, we don't need to click the delete button and draw the point again. So uh, I think in your project, if you are interested in to improve the current function, I think you can easily, you can try to achieve the delete button inside of the pop-up. Okay, now let's review our uh, task today. And uh, today we need to achieve the function of delete uh, we need to achieve the function of delete uh, and uh, create the buildings. And uh, so uh, actually we already achieved it. Now, um, today's content is not hard, right? And I saw there is an, yeah. Uh, and uh, so it will be the same. Uh, we will record all, uh, we are recording all of the video and uh, we will upload the video to YouTube. Please feel free to check the YouTube again. And also the, the step document for all of the source code, I will upload it to the Google Classroom. Uh, I hope I can get your, I hope I can get your application, uh, get the record videos of your own application in the Google Classroom soon. Mm. I want to say the last one is uh, until now we already achieved all of the functions related to the 2D. Uh, and uh, this one already can be a simple demo of cadastral management. We have all, all, all the necessary basic functions like query, edit, management, uh, edit, uh, adding, and uh, deleting. After we add some add other new function to this system, for example, like user management and or the approval progress, then it can be a complex cadastral management system. So it's not very hard, right? And from tomorrow, we still have two days, which is day six and day seven. On the day six and day seven, we will start the content about 3D. We want, uh, we will show, uh, I will show you how to visualize this kind of data in a 3D scene and uh, how to achieve the query function and how to add the online base map and the online, uh, the online terrain layer to the 3D scene. Then this project will be more uh, more will be more useful and uh, uh, it will be more like it will be cooler. Okay, so I think today we already finished our content today. Please let me know if you have any question. Okay.